If you're missing the target from there, you want bloody shooting. Oh, it's crap. Oh, it's bloody rubbish. It's rubbish. I've never seen anyone dominate a room like him. I mean, no matter where we've been, he walks in the room, it just goes quiet. I had a non-off relationship with him. Uh, I thought I was a really good player, and he didn't. I ask him which way he thinks it should be done. We get down to it, and then we talk about it for 20 minutes, and then we decide I was right. And I was fortunate enough to play under him for three years, the way he treated me and, and managed me. And only Brian Clough could have done that, I believe, could have managed me in that way. Unique. Just one word, unique. The first thing he said to me, he told me I'd be playing for England in 12 months. A lot of other managers obviously shouted, ranted and raved. The difference between Clough and other managers is that he knew what to say to them. He knew when to say it to them. And he knew how to say it to them. You're one of the best in the club. Get in there. That's what I pay you for. We've seen them attack them and there's Francis! Well, that's what I wanted to see Robinson do. Could Nottingham Forest and could Derby have achieved the things they had done without a Brian Clough? I think not. He was a genius, he was absolutely genius. A genius would be a fair description. Yeah, we used to see Nigel occasionally. He was one of those little boys that if you threw a ball at him, he could volley it back to you straight away. I couldn't believe it took so long for the likes of Forrest or Derby to come knocking for Nigel. You know, he's an international footballer. Might have managed non-league for a few years, but you know, he's played at the highest level, so he knows everything about the game of football. You need time, even Brian Clough needed time. And, and, and I think Nigel needs time as well. No, I for one wish him extremely well, uh, albeit he is at Derby.